once already. This always happens. So we're going again. Now we're going to speed run some fragrances real quick. Check this out. Wood Intense Eau de Parfum by, uh, by Sh Raggy Shaggy. Ra Ragba. I don't know. It's a wood fragrance. It's a little bit on the intense side. Okay. It's a, like a Middle Eastern. Same with this guy. Uh, Karloff Paris Royal Oud. Uh, it's very heavy okay next up headache inducer i'm sorry yes i know i'm gonna get i'm gonna get some slack for that but whatever fuck you next up intimately mr david beckham very well known football player um and honestly it isn't bad but let's just say stick to football even though you're retired it's okay no problem <laughs> all right little little three for one here we've got the uh Listed fragrances. So we've got um, we've got Jake, SoCal, and Coastline. Okay. Now, honestly, these are pretty like standard uh, like mall fragrances. It's like what you would expect from a mall, I suppose. They're all kind of summer, summery. Like you should wear these in the summer. But um, I guess Jake. So, we have the uh, classic marine dime, okay? Very aquatic, very fresh, very, um, very beachy. You know, if you're going to the beach. If you're going to the beach, hit this one up, maybe. <laughs> Pretty good. Okay, next up, we've got, a uh, marine dime triumph. Now, I guess if you're going to the beach and you're going to be playing some, like, beach volleyball, surfing or something and you want to like you want to be victorious be triumphant over your enemies wear this one all right and finally my favorite marine time journey now if you guys want to go and embark on a philosophical journey like i have during the summer at the beach this is your guy i'm just kidding i don't fucking know bro i mean they all kind of smell the same to me i know they don't but i haven't like i haven't worn them enough to to be able to distinguish Next up, we've got a classic, Why a Parfum, by Mr. Yves St. Laurent, Laurent, I know I would chill out, Appley, fresh, blue, like you wear this, the ladies, I think the ladies dig it, I don't know, ladies don't dig me, you know what, that's okay, I like men, well, not really, but anyways, there's a little why why though like you know how pokemon did x and y they should make a eve saint laurent should make a fragrance called x anyways yeah this one's pretty good pretty solid next up mancera kumkat wood i bought this um off of a recommendation from a, a certain youtube channel who covered all the mancera fragrances and uh this smells absolutely rancid dog shit piece of garbage i can't believe i fucking spent 60 dollars on this it smells like it just smells like a fucking cougar like a like a coyote like bro this stuff smells rancid i don't know maybe i got a bad patch maybe my nose isn't isn't evolved enough for this but um honestly pass up on this one go for literally anything else from mancera Alright, next up. Next up. This is tough, guys. We'll just go with this one. Avnon Supremacy Incense. Now, this one smells like saffron, I think. Um, guys, what was that spice and ratatouille that Remy was trying to get in the beginning of the movie? Was it saffron? Or was it rosemary? Or was it something else? I don't know. Guys, Ratatouille is the best Disney movie. And uh, maybe the only good Disney movie. Oh my gosh, I can eat a sneeze. It's okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll tough it out for you guys. But uh, yeah, it's very uh, strong. It's very strong. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Next up. Look at this one. Tester. 
Versace Eros or the Toilette. Uh, this is like kind of like people call it the uh, the clubbing fragrance, the party fragrance, fragrance, which is ironic because I don't get invited to parties and I'm too young to the club. So, anyways, it smells good if you're a teenager. Maybe go for the Eau de Parfum, but then like just wear this to school and you'll smell pretty good. Um, it is. I think my batch is like dog shit trash, but because it. It smells like it, but then like there's this weird, like really heavy, like alcoholic smell. So I don't know if my thing expired. I'll probably buy the other perfume though. Also, got a cool cap. And I suppose I should tap on the bottles. Also, is this supposed to be Medusa's head? Like what is that, bro? Versace. Okay, chill out. seven fluid ounce. 
conference and I think yeah it's like halfway empty and if I've owned this the longest god knows if I'll ever finish an actual bottle of fragrance but I like it you'll like it too and if you don't like it it's not my fault next up Halloween Man X okay underrated GP what the fuck is that sound okay this is a tester but this is um i mean yeah it's kind of like a winter fall fragrance um a little bit of coffee in here i love coffee i'm drinking coffee right now actually um but it's less it's less sweet of it's like a less sweet coffee than like coffee break by a mason margella Okay, 
Argana Grande Cloud is a Baccarat Rouge 540 clone, and oh my god, it smells so good. Okay, I never wear this in public, but honestly, when I'm going to bed, sometimes, like, you bet I fucking throw this on. Like, it smells good. Um, it's just nice, and I don't even know what Baccarat Rouge is supposed to smell like, but this smells like I'm on the clouds, and not like in a drug way, like I'm not smoking so high that I'm in the clouds, but it just smells so elegant, you know what I'm saying? Don't worry. If you're a dude and you have like 35 bucks or 40 bucks, you'll buy this. Like, no joke. I would wear this. Okay, look, I'm not, I wouldn't wear it in public. But I would wear this over a number of the fragrances I have in my house because it's not too expensive and it smells really good if you're just taking a chill day or you're with your significant other. I mean, honestly, it's Baccarat Rouge, even, it's like unisex, isn't it? So, therefore, by association, this is also unisex, so fuck you, okay? Not fuck you, I'm sorry, bro. I shouldn't be this mean. But, like, you know what I'm saying? So, anyways, on that note... <laughs> okay, this is, this is called Viva La Juicy. I smelled this in like a Dillard's and I went home that day and I bought it immediately <laughs> bro it like legit oh my god I okay so I think this is what you call a gourmand but it is um it is like it's like caramel syrup breakfast oh my god it smells so good I don't spray this on myself it's a little too much for me but I like to sit here and sniff the bottle like an idiot like bro it, it or like spray a tester and just smell it dude I was smelling that tester literally all day the day I got home like if a woman wore this I would literally be seduced no joke okay even if a man no it wouldn't work never mind alright next up we've got um Boy Doré, I think you call it, by Van Cleef and Art Pals. Now this is kind of like the first, like, niche. Is it niche? I think it is. Uh, this is like the first really expensive fragrance that I bought. Um, was from this house. And it smells good. It's kind of dark. Kind of like, kind of like mysterious, you know what I'm saying? Like, you wear this to a library in a zoo. You're gonna, you're gonna be hella mysterious, my guy. Whatever that means. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, I'm dreading the time that I have to put these all back on my thing. Oh my god, why did I do this? Okay. Manzara Oud Orchid. It is literally, what does the, Oud, what do you think of Oud? Or Oud. What, an orchid, apples, right? I think. basically it okay i literally bought this i didn't even look it up on fragrantica it just said i would work it and i knew i would like it and i do like it but it is very it is very orchidy okay so do bear in mind again you don't want to take my recommendations out off of all of these do your own research get your nose on him next up katie perry in in indivisible what the fuck is that shut up this was ten dollars at Ross. Next up, actually, we'll knock out these other two right now, bro. I didn't even know I had three of these, like Van Cleef and Arbels. I thought I only had two. I don't know where the other one came from. Amber Imperial. It's an amber fragrance, very strong, like very strong, but very good. I love it. I think it smells great. Smells good, nice and fresh. 
colors, nice and blue, nice and mass appealing. Kind of like me, I'm, I'm mass appealing. What does that mean? Okay. Pause. Peppery, spicy. Guys, if you are in a relationship, like you're not trying to impress, you're just trying to smell good, your significant other will appreciate this. However, if you're going on a first date, if you're going on a first date and you're trying to impress, hit her with the latent, hit her with a good three, four sprays of this absolutely, oh my gosh, incredible fragrance, okay? This fragrance, okay, I can't say that because I don't know, but all I'm going to say is that if you are, if you are getting intimate, this fragrance, fuck, dude, okay, I'm so lonely, anyways, <laughs> also date night, you guys are going on a date night, wear this, now somebody, somebody pointed out the comment I made on this, and it is stands true to this day, if I smelled a man wearing this, you know what I'm saying, think about it, okay, if you smelled this, yes, you know what I'm talking about, no, I probably look like a really weird guy, but it's true, Prada Black is like manly. I'm just kidding. I don't know. It uh, it smells so good. I'm gonna spray some right now. You know what? Oh, that was a bad spray. That smelled really bad, actually. Okay, now we're now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Off rip. Oh my gosh, it's so. That makes no sense. If you're gonna buy a Prada fragrance from the Luna Rosa line, buy this one. However, if you're not gonna buy black, my second choice would of course be Carbone, which is people compare to Dior Sauvage. I'll give this one a spray too. And yeah, I could definitely see why, but it smells great. This is probably the, the fragrance I have the biggest dent in. It doesn't look like it, but that's probably like a fifth of the bottle, you know what I'm saying? This was my everyday fragrance and it is fantastic. Alright, next up, we'll knock these both out. La Nuit Alone and A Chill Out Bro, what the fuck? Okay. La Nuit Alone and La Nuit Alone Blue Electric. Basically just a better, stronger version of this one. Date night. Mysterious. I use that word a lot. This is actually like, this is no joke. This is mysterious, bro. It is so like, bro, when I smelled this for the first time, I was literally like, I was seduced by myself. Like, it was insane. Alright, hear me out. Actually, we'll just go with this one because I already talked about Leighton. Detour Noir, Leighton Clone. Guys, if you're balling on a budget, pick this guy up. Smells great. 
roses because it's true. It smells very, um, very professional. Okay, next up, one of my mo more recent favorites. What's wrong with you? Absolutely. This is like, it's, this is like sweet. Like, you smell like incredible. Uh, I want to buy Intensely and then also the original. So, I might get around to that someday, but get yeah, this by its, like, just, I wear this to bed all the time and I smell phenomenal. Guys, you'll notice that I don't go out that much, and I actually wear most of the stuff in my house. Pretty sad, right? Okay. So, next up then, I will show you Strong With You Oud, which I just realized you can see through. That is actually insane. I, like, I didn't know you could. I thought it was like a, like a black bottle, not a clear bottle. So, this is Stronger With You. But, like, a lot of Oud, a lot of lavender, a lot of floor. Absolutely incredible. 
I smelled it. It smells like cinnamon. I actually did wear this one day and I got a compliment. I got called a spicy cinnamon devil. So maybe that's pretty good, right? Okay. Mansara instant crush. That's that was very putrid. That that sound hurt my ears. This is very strong. What is, what is wrong with this thing, bro? I'm not gonna take it off again. But it's very strong. Uh, I don't even know what you would call this. Like, I have no idea how to describe this, to be honest with you. Next up, check this out. <laughs> Azara wanted for her, I think. Um, it just smells good. Okay, that's why I bought it, all right? Look, I buy perfumes if they smell like better than some of the male stuff, okay? Banana Republic, tobacco and tonka bean. <laughs> Bought this at a, um, Burlington. Guys, Banana Republic has some low-key, like, bangers. So we got this one, which is actually my least favorite out of the three. Uh, I believe, uh, okay, yeah. Second, second favorite is Neroli Woods. Also, I really like their bottle design. It's, it's sleek. It is simple and it works, okay? Shout out Banana Republic, shout out Bananas, I love bananas. Not those kind of bananas, but like eating bananas, you know what I'm saying? Chill out, okay? My favorite is Vintage Green. Um, it smells vintage and it smells green. This is like a more, it's like a nicer refined Elysium. That is absolutely not true. It is, okay, in terms of like green and like kind of like foresty, earthy, this smells like really good. Like, the name describes it perfectly. And, okay, well, actually not last, but 1981X Alexandria Parfums. We have Agar Woodwood Clone. Hawaii Volcano, which is a Creed uh, Virgin Island or whatever. Clone. E.T. Sauvage, Sauvage Elixir, which is obviously a Sauvage Elixir clone. And Black Sun, which I don't know what it's a clone of. And going into here, uh, Versace Poor Femme. Is that even, or Dylan Turquoise? Right here. Actually, smells pretty good. I like it. Um, I'm not gonna take all these out. These were some Sunbird stuff.